When you are shown a diagram of the male reproductive organs, there might be organs that are not part of the male reproductive system, such as the urinary bladder and ureter. You might be asked to label the ureter, as one might confuse the tube with the urethra. Let's start the labelling from the testis, where the male gametes, sperms, are produced. The male hormone testosterone is also produced here. The scrotum is the skin that holds the testis outside of the body to keep it at a lower temperature, which is needed for the proper development of sperm. The sperm duct connects the testis to the urethra, allowing the sperm to travel through. The prostate gland secretes nutrients that nourish the sperm. The mixture of fluid and sperm is known as semen. The semen travels out through the urethra, which is also the same channel through which urine passes out of the body. Finally, the penis is the erectile organ that enables the deposition of sperm into the female body. Here is the side view of the male reproductive system. See if you can identify all six parts. The urinary bladder is here. A cross section of the testis actually looks like this and meiosis is taking place as sperm is produced. The path that sperm takes is through the sperm duct and past the prostate gland. At the junction, fluid containing nutrients is added, forming the semen. The semen then travels through the urethra and out of the penis. Here is the summary of the parts of the male reproductive system and their respective functions. Besides the male reproductive system, we also have the female reproductive system. Females have a pair of ovaries on both sides. They produce eggs and also secrete female hormones. An egg is released into the oviduct, or fallopian tube. Peristalsis of the oviduct and cilia, similar to those found in the trachea, help to move the immobile egg along the oviduct. The oviduct is also the site where fertilization occurs. The embryo will continue to move towards the uterus, where it will develop into a fetus. The opening of the uterus is the cervix, while the vagina, or birth canal, leads from the cervix to the outside and is where semen is deposited during copulation. This is the side view of the female reproductive system. See if you can recognize all five parts. If you are wondering, the location of the urinary bladder and ureter is down here, and here's the summary of the parts of the female reproductive system and their respective functions. Besides the different reproductive systems, there are also male and female gametes. The male gamete is known as sperm, while the female gamete is known as an ovum or egg. Sperm are much smaller than eggs but are released in the millions, while typically only one egg is released during one cycle. Sperm can move by themselves, while the ovum cannot. In males, sperm are produced continuously after the start of puberty, while females are born with all the eggs they will have in their lifetime. An egg is usually released once every 28 days.